enclosure challenge where when you go to your cupboards, get an old pickle jar, jam jar, any sort of jar you've got. see where do I have a jar where do I have a jar hmm. jar 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 ah there hmm yeah mm -hmm. don't need a lid will do the previous occupants were a bunch of sea monkeys so I need to remove some salt some soil from an old chili plant. Oh, and free chili leaf litter. There you go. Now for some decor. I collected this structure from a beach on Sardinia. It's either the result of lightning bolts hitting sand or worm tunnels or of unknown origin. And also some scarabs. They are added as a symbol for the renewal of life and for color. In order to serve as vertical structure I take a twig from an old dried up chili plant and cut it to fit. Okay, that's good enough, I guess. A little bit of moisture, rubber band, tissue. Ah. Smaller rubber band. I'm using this instead of the original lid because um, the purpose I have intended for this jar requires a good aeration and uh, not too much moisture. Now it would have been more elegant to glue some gauze into the original lid, but I can't get any gauze outside right now, as you probably guessed. And who will be the tenant of the new jar? Well, meet Tasha. Tasha is a generation 20 Sardinian glowworm. She's an adult female that recently hatched from the pupa. And I expect her to start her glowing display just this night. And that's actually the reason why she is moving in the jar right now. It has optimal conditions for the glowing display. It is not too moist, it is well aerated and it has structures where she can do her glowing thing a little bit higher up. Just to be on the safe side, a few more rubbers. Okay, all set and ready to go. Tasha, I have a feeling we're gonna blow the competition away. Or should I say, you're gonna glow them away? Lame. Hey! Pungeon Master! Pungeon That's better. Master. Pungeon Master. You hack! Anyway, it's almost 10 pm and you can see. The adult males are starting to get all excited. Now we only have to wait for lights out. Aquarium lights out. Like much of the footage in this video I'm running this at double speed, but you'll get the basic idea of how the light magically and slowly increases at first. You can see right there. Let's move in a little bit closer. Ah, full on display.
I'm gonna switch on the light for a moment so you can see how the glow organs relate to the body of the female. Have you seen it? Yeah, one disadvantage of the jar is that the glass uh, distorts the image somewhat and makes it all a wobbly when moving at an odd angle. Wobble, 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 wobble. Okay, Tasha, you passed the test. You are mature and uh, you are ready to mate. Let's um, have a little closer look with light on. Yeah. You are ready. See you tomorrow. So yeah, that's Tasha's jar. Oh, it has served its purpose and she will be mated tonight. Oh yeah, and Lee, uh, should I win? I do not want any physical prize because um, I'm doing this all for fame. Uh, I mean fun. And also the secret location of my base of operation. Well, um... That cannot be revealed. Wobble, 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 wobble.